Hi everyone, it's been almost two months since I uploaded my last video. I've been taking photos but didn't make any videos for an upload because my time was focused amongst my other hobbies. But I've been updating my Instagram, so you might have already noticed that I've got new items for my XT2. When I get a new gear, I always update it on my Instagram stories, so please check it out if you are interested. Okay, this is one of the items I purchased. It's a lens adapter, John E Lens Turbo 2, Nikon GFX. I can mount my Nikon FX G lenses on the XT2 by using this adapter. I guess it's a different brand name in North America. I believe it's called Mitacon John E. I only have G lenses in my Nikon lens collection, so I can only use adapters which comes with aperture ring. There are many other adapters in the market, but let me tell you the features of it. You can find detailed information at the John E website, so I'll explain just two features here. It's not just an adapter that connects the body and the lens, but it's also equipped with a focal reducer booster. As you can see, here is a lens. And what happens when it's mounted is that, first of all, you can use your FX lenses on Fujifilm X bodies as the original focal lengths. Well, almost. According to John E website, 50mm FX lens is fitted to about 55mm, and 35mm FX lens is fitted to about 38mm. And secondly, due to its high light collection efficiency, it gives additional one stop of light for each of the lens's f-stop settings. Does that mean my f1.8 lens can be adjusted to f1.2? It sounds wonderful, doesn't it? But I know everybody is wondering, can it hold good image quality? Or does it lose resolution? Just as you may doubt, I was very suspicious of it too, because I've never heard of a brand name such as John E that can be somehow skeptical. So my expectations weren't so high when I bought it, just hoping that it's a good quality adapter. Anyway, I took many sample photos. Let's check them first and see if you like the image quality. These are taken as JPEG. Film simulation is Provia. The lens is AFS 50mm f1.8G. There is no EXIF data because it doesn't have electric communication. I'm going to tell you the feel of using it later on.
How did you like the image quality? Please answer the questionnaire I made here, cause I'd love to know what you think. The question is, what is your first impression of the image quality? One, excellent. Two, good. Three, poor. Four, useless. My first impression was quite surprised as my expectation was very low. Honestly speaking, I was expecting a toy quality. So when I saw the first shot on the back screen, I was quite happy. Look at these. Those are shots of 85mm f1.8 lens with the adapter and Fujifilm 56mm f1.2 lens. Taken at the same location, but handheld and the shooting timing was different, so not a fair comparison. In case you want to see perfect comparison, this is not the one for you. The aperture on the 56mm lens was set at f9. I tried to set the adapter aperture at f9 with my guess since there was no steps. I thought 56mm was much sharper. Although they are both taken in Provia, the color tone is totally different. Look at the green on the leaves. And check the edge area. What do you think of it? And I can say that it can capture the texture as well. And the bokeh. I'm not a big fan of bokeh, so I can't judge if it's perfectly beautiful or not. But I guess there is no problem with it. If you are a bokeh lover, and have an opinion, leave a comment. And does it really feel as though it looks one stop brighter aperture? It does look like it. I'm not so sure. I took it with maximum aperture, and it does look like so. One more thing about the image quality. I felt that some of the images have matte coating feeling. It's very, very little, and I don't know if it's just my imagination, but I did feel it. Next, usability. Well, first of all, I have to brush up my manual focus skills. I don't usually use manual focus, so I felt uncomfortable with it, thereby taking many unfocused pictures. But XT2 has very useful manual focus assist function, and it helped me tremendously. I set it at the focus peak highlight. The color is red. When you set it at the manual focus, you can see the red color on the focused area. Then press the rear dial. You can zoom up the focused area and was easily able to get focus. I was lazy at the sample photo shooting and didn't often zoom up, so I got many unfocused photos. I guess I must use it. Let's have a look at the adapter. It took a while to get used to adjusting the aperture ring. Look here. It can only move this little width. It's about 12mm width, which is about half inch. The aperture changes by moving only 1mm, so it took some time to find the right aperture at every shot. The movement of the aperture ring itself is not bad. Smooth but tight enough movement. The connection part of the aperture and the lens is not smooth. 
It's very tight. And the button to remove the lens is also tight and not easily be removed. I got panicked at first because I couldn't take my lens off from the adapter. For one thing, it has to be in the right position to remove it, but you also have to press the button really hard. Look at my thumb. And the caps that come s with this adapter, they don't fit at all. They come off easily. It's easy to guess that it will be detached in my camera bags by the simple walk vibration. Should I tape it or should I get a new cap? I test shot street snaps using 50mm f1.8 because this is one of the basic lenses. But getting this adapter had a different intention. The motive was to use this Nikon 18 to 35mm zoom lens with the Fuji X-T2. Last year, this wide zoom lens was the most regularly used lens for the scenic views, but it didn't have as much turns this year since I was hooked into taking street photography using middle telephoto lenses. So I thought it would be economical to get this adapter to connect to my existing camera instead of buying a new wide zoom lens. I thought this item would draw limited interest among my viewers because it's only for someone who is using both Nikon FX and Fuji X. But when I uploaded it on my Instagram stories, I unexpectedly received many comments from my viewers and were keen on reviews. So here we are. By the way, I took JPEG sample photos for this video, but I usually use RAW and edit on Lightroom, such as my Instagram photos. I often get questions if my photos are taken by JPEG or RAW since I started using X-T2, so in case if you had the same question. I added some edited pictures from this sample photo shooting at the last part of this video. Please check until the end if you are interested. Okay, that's all for today. Please press good and subscribe my channel and Instagram. See you soon again. Bye.